the project we're taking on with the group that, uh, that we're forming is in some sense caused by the perfect storm of change in digital education. Uh, you may have heard of edX and Harvard X. Um, it's, it's been sort of an interesting change there where suddenly we have data coming in from hundreds of thousands of students that we can experiment with, really. Um, but while this is a large amount of data for educational purposes, in, in, in the sense of some of the large data initiatives, one of the members of the team has been working on the Large Hadron Collider, they throw away more data in a minute than we will gather in a year on education. But their data kind of doesn't matter in a sense that ours does. In that, you know, the, the Hadron may feel like its privacy is being violated, <laughs> it, but it's not going to sue. <laughs> and there aren't laws about it. And, and when you start using human subjects, there are problems that you need to think about that engineers tend to not think about. Now add into that that Harvard is in the process of changing the way they use technology to teach on campus as well. So those of you that have used eyesights, I'm sorry, it happened before I got here. <laughs> but we are trying to change this, but this is an opportunity not only to change the way we use technology on campus, but to use the data as we are changing it to evaluate the building of the technology. All of this means that we need to be able to pull the data in, have it used and evaluated by people who are not technologists, but are really researchers in other areas in a way that not only has the, it, it not only stays within the law, but stays within what's right in terms of maintaining the privacy and the integrity of the people who we are educating. So this is inherently a cross-disciplinary thing. We have to have lawyers and engineers and others talk to each other to figure out what it is that we build so that the code that we write really does have the kind of policy behind it where we are doing not only something that is useful but something that is good. We will have an artifact out of this project. We will build something that I think, if we do it right, will outlive the careers of all of us here because this is the kind of tool that we need to do education in the next 20 years. But it has to be informed by policy, it has to be informed by law, and we have to think about this as a group. And bringing in a bunch of students who haven't ossified in the way that they think, who haven't siloed their way of thinking, and instead think that they can actually learn from each other is the way that we can build this sort of thing. So I'm actually quite excited about pulling together a cross-disciplinary, cross-school group to build some stuff. Because I'm still an engineer and that's what I do and that's what we do.